All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here as the thumbnail is describing. I am going to make uh, a, a substitution for eggs, for real eggs, with tofu and a couple ingredients to make it taste as close as possible to eggs because uh, we actually have an allergy in the house for eggs. A person in our house actually enjoyed and loved eating eggs until we found out that they couldn't. And so we don't want to like take that away from the person. So we have, we've been looking for all these like alternatives. And for now, so far at this time today, <laughs> the tofu concoction that we're about to make right now is actually really close to eggs. Even like to the point where I've had it, my wife has had it, my kids have had it, and we all actually enjoy it. So we are going to go ahead and put these things together here and I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay. All right. So first we're going to want to start off with um, a half cup of nutritional yeast. This guy's right here. We take a half cup of here and we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Hopefully I don't do a horrible, horrible job here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some day right here, okay? Uh, real good, Oop. okay? Look at that, a little shaky shaky going on. And uh, that's about right. And then I'm just gonna plop that down here. What we're gonna do, at some point is we're going to mix all these together obviously and make it work so the next one is black sea salt or black salt powder this one's actually very important um, uh, without this salt you can't use like any regular salt this salt actually gives like this really sulfuric smell sometimes um, but it's 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 the goat it's really the, the kind of the um, the heavy lifter of this concoction. Um, I am stressing that the black salt is a huge component of this, of this recipe. If you don't have the black salt, I, you know, you, you might as well just wait until you do get it. Um, I would, if I, if I can find some to where, where we bought it, uh, or find somewhere else where you can get it, I'll put a link in the description. If I find something, uh, I may not be able to find it. I'm not sure because we have an Indian store uh, nearby and that's where we got it from. So this, the recipe is asking for four teaspoons. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one. I'm going to be a little liberal because, um, this, this, this actually lasts for quite a bit, like the amount that we're, we're doing here. And if you want to be like super like technical and stuff, you can go ahead and like, you know, scrape off the top and stuff like that. But since I got two hands and I'm doing a video, it's kind of tough. So anyway, all right. So now we are going to work on the onion powder. The onion powder actually just requires three of these uh, teaspoons. So it's just one real quick. My favorite number three. Here we go. I almost pulled out like a humongous blob <laughs> that would have changed the uh the count um i love the way onion smells as you guys have seen me by cutting onions i clearly love onions uh the next one yes garlic powder and the garlic powder requires just one one teaspoon so here we go we're gonna put this guy right here bam again the heavy lifter right this guy has a like a funky sulfuric smell and whatnot and then the final ingredient, which is uh, a teaspoon of turmeric. And then we plop that guy right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab all these together and mix them into one container. And there you go, guys. I go ahead. I went ahead and mixed them and put them all together. You can see like the little, you know, the, the black salt. You can see some of the little other colors and of the other, uh, what is it, ingredients. Because the onion and the garlic and the nutritional yeast is basically all kind of like a brownish kind of color, whatever. But this right here is what we're gonna use on the tofu. And when you're done with it, you can actually, you know, cover it up and use it for later. You have your spice, kind of like your, if you're Latino, you can have like your little um, adobo, little container, and you can fill it up with this. And this will be for just your eggs or something like that. Okay, so now we're gonna use the tofu. The tofu has to be a block of like extra firm or medium firm. You don't really wanna use that stuff that like, you know, falls apart. You wanna use like kind of like a, a thickish, a thickish uh, version where it's got like, you know, right here, extra firm and uh, organic, whatever you wanna choose. I, I'm, I'm not gonna judge. And I'm just gonna open it up and take it out all right guys so i don't know if you guys ever worked with tofu but usually tofu comes in a container the container that you saw had liquid in it and stuff i guess it keeps it moist it's kind of like a spongy um texture to it 
and the firmness yeah this is this is pretty firm so i've already preheated the uh, the pan with one tablespoon of oil you can use butter same measurement all right guys so this is what you want to have when you're done uh, i want you want it to look like this uh, but i recommend because i i just did it basically by hand on the pan you could take it and just crumble it up and do it with your hands. Before you get this hot, you can actually just go ahead and just mush it up because it's so much easier to do it with your hands. The best tools in the world are these hands that you guys have. If you have only one, oh, it's that one then. You know what I mean? But regardless, these are your best tools. Don't heat it up. Go ahead and crush, crush it up, mush it up real good. Make it look like, you know, egg crumbles. And then get your, your heat to like medium high. Oh, not medium high, excuse me, medium low. And, uh... Once we have it nice and egg-like looking, we can go ahead and add the remainder. We can add the remainder, which is the two tablespoons of the, uh, the, the tofu scramble mixture that we made. So here's our mixture that we made earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and get two of these guys going. And then we're just gonna go ahead and spread it around a little bit. Okay, Whew. yeah, I can already smell that salt. <laughs> that small, that salt has this little furic smell. But again, that's that's the stuff. That's the key component. If you ask me, you don't use regular salt, and that's what it asks for, and that's what it's getting. Now, of course, we just come back here and we just mix it up nice and gently because we don't want to make it too. Uh, too, what do you call it? We don't want to make a mess, is, all, is what I'm trying to avoid. It's actually giving off like a kind of a popcorn smell, like melting butter. And I don't even have butter in here. All right, so we're just gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna continue uh, mixing it around real good until it's all coated. And that's generally it. It gets it's gonna get nice and warm because obviously I'm, I'm I'm cooking it from the uh, I'm you know there's heat underneath. You got the little medium heat going on, and I just want to make sure I mix it up real good. And once that is complete, you can actually serve it as soon as possible. You can go ahead and put some put this on toast. You can get your bacon going at the same time. You know on the other side if you have someone else that can help you because this does kind of need a lot a bit more of attention you can't really like you can't really do two things at the same time with this you can I guess if I wanted to just like leave it right here I guess I could but this is my my personal first time doing this my wife did it the first time so I am learning right here with you guys on the first try and I feel pretty confident that if I can do this Anybody else can do this. I'm the novice of all novices when it comes to doing almost everything the first time. There we go. Alright, so it's nicely even. It looks pretty even, right? You guys see that? Now I'm just going to take a little piece right here. I'm just going to try it. And there you have it. No, it tastes like eggs. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like not 100% eggs because nothing's ever going to replace eggs. Because you just can't. We get close. And this is very close. I hope you guys enjoy this. I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have some breakfast and serve it up to my kids and my wife. Alright guys, enjoy. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys. Bye.